Top 6 Best 3D Printers in 2024 Hello guys, today in this video we are going to help you to find out the best 3D printers in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I try to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them you can check our links in the description below. And like comment share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number 6. Monoprice Voxel. If you're looking to get started in 3D printing, the Monoprice Voxel 3D printer is a great choice, as it delivers high-quality prints without costing you a fortune. Novices will particularly appreciate the heated print base on the Voxel, which means more reliable prints when you use materials like ABS. The top of the print bed slides out, too, and it's bendable, so removing prints is a snap. We also like the fact that the voxel is enclosed, an important consideration if you're planning on using a 3D printer in a home or classroom. The MP voxel is speedy, producing prints in times we usually see from more expensive devices. We were also impressed with the quality of prints, which accurately recreated details and captured natural, smooth curves in our testing. You may run into some minor frustrations with setup, but once it's up and running, the MP Voxel is the best 3D printer for people who want to experience 3D printing for the first time. A small LCD touchscreen on the front of the printer provides on-device controls. They're mostly easy to use, though I found it a little awkward to enter things like a WPA key on the small, on-screen keyboard. Once the MP Voxel is connected to the Polar Cloud service, though, you don't need to use it for much, so it's not a major problem. Number 5. XYZ Da Vinci Nano. If the Monoprice Voxel is either too difficult to find or too expensive for your budget, the Da Vinci Nano from XYZ Printing may be your best low price option, especially now that the printer appears to be back in stock. The Da Vinci is relatively compact, about the size of a bread maker, but it has a generous for its size build area of 4.7 inches on all sides. There's a door to close off the print area and block out some of the noise from printing but be aware that opening the door doesn't stop the printing process. The Da Vinci Nano is no speed demon, other best 3D printers produce objects in much less time, but the prints it produced in our testing were of very good quality. The software that accompanies this 3D printer is also easy to use, another reason why we recommend the Da Vinci Nano for classroom settings. Should the Da Vinci Nano be in short supply, there's a wireless version, the Da Vinci Nano W, available at the XYZ printing site for around $250. Number 4. Formlabs Form 3 Plus. Resin based printers have seen a lot of competition from lower priced devices in recent years, but the Form 3 Plus from Formlabs remains the device of choice if 3D printing is a regular part of your workflow. The Form 3 Plus replaced the Form 3 formerly our top pick for resin printers. This new version churns out prints faster than before, and it's much easier to use than before. Loading up resin is simple, and a floating level sensor keeps close tabs on how much resin is in the print tray, controlling the flow so that just the right amount is used on each job. A more flexible build platform simplifies the task of removing prints. The Form 3 Plus produces speedy prints, but more importantly, the quality of our test prints turned out to be superlative. A price hike puts the starting price of the Form 3 Plus at $3,750, so clearly, this particular model isn't for everybody. But the Form 3 Plus easily meets the demands of designers who need a steady flow of good-looking prints and have the means to pay for this top-tier option. The Form 3 Plus from Formlabs replaces the Form 3, one of the best resin-based 3D printers we've tested. This is an area in 3D printing that's seen a lot of competition in recent years, as a number of lower-cost models have sprung up, looking to challenge Formlabs' pricier printers. While devices like the Photon Mono X offer a lower-cost entry into SLA printing, the Form 3 Plus remains the 3D printer of choice for professionals who need dependable and high-quality 3D printing. Formlabs' latest printer takes all the great features of the Form 3 and improves ease of use and print speeds to remain the ultimate 3D resin printer. Number 3. Photon Mono X. As good as the Form 3 is, it's very expensive. Printers like the now sold out Piopoli Phenom brought down the price of SLA printing somewhat, but the Photon Mono X offers an even cheaper entry. Even better, the results are pretty impressive. We found that Photon Mono X created high quality SLA prints quickly, despite the occasional printing error. 
3D printing enthusiasts will appreciate the large print area, 331 cubic inches. That's particularly impressive given the Photon Mono X's comparatively small size, it's only 18 inches tall and a little more than 11 inches wide, so it will fit easily into a home workshop or similar setting. SLA printing remains a messy, smelly business. But the Photon Mono X helps bring down the cost of this process without forcing you to make too many compromises. Number 2. Flashforge Adventurer 4. If you have a messy workshop with a lot of dust, the Flashforge Adventurer 4 might just be the 3D printer for you as it case is designed to keep dust out while a built-in fan and HEPA filter keeps the print bed clean. This is also a great 3D printer for those that want to have it run in the background while out and about since it has a live camera feed to show you how your prints are progressing. While the Flashforge Adventurer 4 costs more than some other 3D printers like the Monoprice Voxel we've reviewed, you're getting a more advanced device that's also more affordable than pro-level 3D printers. It's also a bit larger at 21.7 by 19.7 by 18.5 inches but this is because the entire printing mechanism is enclosed. The Flashforge Adventurer 4 is controlled through a simple touchscreen on the left side at the front of its case. This is easy enough to use when setting up prints but we found entering our Wi-Fi password to be a bit difficult. After a few failed attempts, we used a wired Ethernet connection to pair it with our computer and this worked flawlessly. Number 1. Prusa Mini Plus The Prusa Mini Plus 3D printer is a terrific option if you're just getting started in 3D printing, though it seems to be in short supply these days. That's a shame because it offers novices reliable performance and quality prints right out of the box, even if it is more expensive than competing 3D printers for beginners. In our testing, we found the Prusa Mini Plus easy to set up, though the lack of an enclosed printing area may make this the wrong choice if you've got younger folks hanging around your workspace. Well-designed software walks you through the process of preparing your model for printing. And when it is time to print, the Prusa Mini Plus performs relatively quickly at the 0.2mm quality print mode. We were pleased with the quality of all our test prints, including those that featured parts that had to fit precisely together. Though pricier than most beginning printers, the Prusa Mini Plus doesn't make you jump through a lot of hoops to get your printer calibrated and set up. We think it's a great alternative to the Monoprice Voxel. Finding the best 3D printer for you and your needs can be difficult, especially since there are so many different models and designs available. Don't worry though as we're here to help with our guide on the best 3D printers you can get right now. The search can be a lot easier if you focus on two things right from the beginning. First, what's your experience level with 3D printing? Second, what do you want to use a 3D printer to create? By answering these questions, it can help narrow down your search so that you're picking from models that are best suited to your skill level and needs. This is the top 6 best 3D printers in 2024. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.